Hello and welcome everyone back to the Powder Toy. So today we are going to be- oh, I have to restart my track. So this is actually take two of this video, by the way. I kind of screwed up horribly the first time. But we're going to be trying to destroy this planet using the Death Star. But that means I'm going to have to make some sort of weapon that can destroy this planet with like a laser. Laser. It's going to be very exciting. I've learned a lot about the Powder Toy and uh, making lasers in the past few minutes. And uh, I'd like to use this intelligence to destroy the world. Very nice. So first we're going to put on a C-Ray, and we're uh, going to set it to Plasma, because I like... <laughs> Plasma's dangerous, <laughs> and it does a lot of damage, so we're going to destroy the world, let's do it in style. Then we're just going to go ahead, and we're going to make a wire leading up to it. And if all goes well, if I spark this, we should get Plasma Beam! Wow. Okay, so Plasma Beam is quite effective. As you can see, Plasma Beam very angrily attacks. But it'll only go out to the first particle it hits. This is a slight, slight issue for us. Um, it can be mitigated, but I don't know if it'll be worth it. So let's go ahead and try to remember. Was it N-Silicon that does it the other way? I, I don't remember. I, it might be. No. Okay, what was the other way to do it? Do I have to do the full line of instant conductor? Holy guacamole! Okay, and then that... <laughs> oh boy, that is violent! We're firing it through the earth. Jeez, now that's a plasma ray. Alright, I like that one. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so now all we have to do is do something that makes something that can actually hold up to the weapon itself. Um, because we may actually take way too much damage from trying to fire this. So we're gonna build a Death Star out of... Well, we'll, we'll use a titanium... Okay, I'll go closer so I'm not covering it. We'll use a titanium thingy, uh, and we will go ahead and put the the cannon right over here. So let's go ahead and dig out a little cannon section. Now there's a few things that needs to be understood. First thing is that this is going to be really damn messy. I mean, we're dealing with a lot of heat here. Like, a lot. Plasma is like the hottest thing in this game, so... If you're playing around with it, you are probably going to get burned. Actually, to the point where I think we're going to make this into titanium. <laughs> uh, not titanium, tungsten. Because tungsten can handle temperature far better. So, uh, yeah, let's just plop that there. There we go. There we go. Alright, so now let's go ahead and actually put it, like, even to it so we can just fire out of the side. Let's go ahead and make the gun section... We'll do this, and then we're going to have the actual gun come out here. We're going to need a few layers of stuff to make this work properly, um, because, believe it or not, once again, it gets really, really hot. Uh, we're going to need insulation for the part that comes back here. You know, the part that actually triggers it. Because otherwise this entire thing will get sparked, and it will not only look dumb, but it'll be really dangerous because of the amount of heat it'll make. Okay, so that'll be the button you press right here. Very nice. That's all cool. This should be too thick because powder toy sparks can move through a single gap. Fun fact. If you're new to this game, that probably annoyed you at some point because you had no clue why your thing wasn't working. Well, I'm here to tell you that is why. It can jump. Like a spider, and jumping spiders are horrible and should be purged from this planet. Alright, let's see. There we go, that's exactly what we want. We spark it, brings the power out to there, and then we have fun. And by fun, I mean destroying planets. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this C-Ray here. 
set it to plasma, and I think we're going to have a few issues right off the bat. These are sides are going to like melt immediately. <laughs> Let's see what happens though. Wow, it didn't. I'm actually color me surprised. I am actually kind of impressed by that. Okay, if that's not going to happen, that gives me a little bit more hope. I'm gonna put a little like decorative thing here. There we go. So it has like a smaller gap so that Luke Skywalker can't just fly in there. Uh, let's go ahead and see if that gets destroyed. Nope. All right. So as we can see, we actually already have a pretty, pretty good start because this thing can do quite a bit of damage. Um, as you can see by us slowly taking out the ocean. Uh, the only limitation being, well, things get in its way easily. Anything that gets in the way do a lot, a lot of harm to our attempts to destroy the world. I could actually use Thermite um, as, as an attack agent, which would be kind of fun, but I think that Plasma is far more effective. Um, also, it looks really cool. We get that purple, and it goes away on its own. It takes a little bit is the only issue. Um, like, that is kind of slow. I want to be able to do a little bit more damage. So let's go ahead and hefty this up a little bit. Now, I have to do it like this, because it will actually fire diagonally otherwise. Uh, so you can't have these right next to each other. Uh, but this little trident should work, I think. Let's go ahead. Oh, I have to switch these to plasma. So give me one moment to do that. So plasma on this, on this, and on this. Let's go ahead and get our spark boy. And see if we can get her to fire. Alright, so that has a lot more bite behind it, considering we're using triple the plasma. Um, the only issue being that this is actually starting to heat up our Death Star to a point where it's a little bit scary. So around this, I'm going to go ahead and get Freeze Powder, and I'm just going to add a little bit of cooling to each side. Like this and like this. This should cool things down a little bit. Oh, I messed it up. Darn it. Is that, is that lined up? No, it's not. Why, why do I keep doing this? Why? Why am I here just to suffer? Come on. All right, like that, and then it needs to line up with that and be two. Okay, there's no way I screwed that up. All right, fantastic. So that should help cool down the entire planet, or not planet, um, death machine a little bit more. And we'll put a few arrays of these in. Just cooling arrays to try to cool down the weapon. All right, so the temperature is dropping now, which is fantastic. And this is gonna give us a little bit of room to have fun and blow up planets. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the decoration tools and just add a little bit of detailing to this to try to make it look cool. Okay, or I can just fail horribly at that. That works too. All right, how about this? Really? Is it is it not going to work? Oh, do I have de I have decorations off? That's why. That makes a lot more sense. All right, we'll do two around, two around. There. Two around, two around. Very nice. Kind of section this area off and outline it. This is like the weapons area. You really don't want to mess with this. You really don't want to mess with this area. Just, just stay away if you're not assigned to this. All right, fantastic. Absolutely 
fantastic. All right, now that the coolant systems are 100% online and functional, I say we go at it and give them another round of attacks. I mean, the we're actually getting to sub-zero temperatures now, so we have to do it for the sake of the Death Star. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll uh, get too cold. Ah, oh, those misfires are annoying, though. I wish we could clear that up faster. I mean, can we destroy a planet in a single strike? Not yet, but I think there's a few things we can do to to help. To help with that. I've got a few ideas. Oh, the pressure is starting to damage us. That's not good. Um, oh, pressure. That's going to be an issue considering what I want to do next. Hmm. Because what I wanted to do was put a fan here and blow this way, but will that break my beautiful titanium? Or is it only high pressure that'll damage it? That's the question of the day. What is our pressure looking like? Can I actually blow through a hole that small? I, I, I'm not sure. Well, we'll see. We'll see if this works. Yes! The answer is yes. Uh, so now we can actually push the plasma in that direction to get much more of a blast afterwards. Far more effective if we, you know, yeet all of it at them. I'm a little bit concerned about the fact that the edges of my Death Star are being damaged, but as you can see, my weaponry is... Oh, shoot! It is far more effective when we slam all of the plasma into the planet. We're actually doing major damage and melting all the way through it. The amount of heat we're getting across is kind of insane. So, now the question becomes, uh... Can I make it a little bit more powerful? Because the faster we manage to move it... The faster I can fire. I just don't want to damage the titanium. Or the uh, tungsten, not titanium. Alright, the pressure is getting pretty low in there. It's like very, 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 very negative. That's okay, because I think, I think that it's going to be worth it. Let's go ahead and get our spark and see what happens. Oh, look at the amount. Wow, that is super effective. Literally just coating it in plasma. Oh no! Oh no! My cables broke. I don't know if that's because of the heat. Did I go a little bit too hot or... Oh no, it's the pressure. Uh, okay, we need a solution to the pressure. We need some way for uh, air to get back here. So let me attempt attempt to fix this. I'm a little bit concerned about putting a vent into it. I heard vents and Death Stars don't go very well together. But, uh... Come on. Come on, baby! Don't die. Uh-oh. Okay, uh, can I make the vent larger? We may have an issue. Okay. Uh, um, no, it is just instant death. Instant death. That's, that's a little bit concerning. Uh, I think it's just because that fan is so close. Maybe if I get rid of this one, it'll decrease a little bit and potentially allow it to survive. No? All right, still too close. How about now? I mean, that's dropped it down to under negative five. Perhaps it will be kind. No. <laughs> no. All right. What if I have an active intake in the back actually pumping air in? Surely that will be enough. Surely this will be enough. There, there we go. Yeah, okay, that helped. Alright, so now looking at the pressure display, yes. Yes, it is... 
This uh, Death Star is having some issues, but as we can see, we've got we've got it going pretty well now. Right, so this shouldn't die anymore, right? What? It's only like negative two. Are are you kidding me? Okay, it's at negative one point oh seven. Uh, the pressure is so tiny, it shouldn't hurt it. Okay, more more fan, I guess. More more fan. Maybe not that close. Um, more fan go burr. It's it's under negative. No, no, it's not. That's a lie. Oh, this is such a mess. Darn it. Our beautiful, beautiful Death Star is having technical issues. I hate it when that happens. Um, looks like I'm just going to have to cut a bigger hole in the damn thing. Jeez, budget cuts. Budget cuts have been rough this year. It's really, it's really harming our whole business model. How are we supposed to... How are we supposed to destroy planets if we can't even... Oh no, it broke even more! Ah! This is awful! I'm basically... I, I gotta switch to the resistance at this point. Okay, yes. No, there is positive pressure now, which is probably just as bad as negative pressure. Why can't I just have even good pressure? Okay, I just, I just want even... Good pressure. Okay, 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 okay. That's kind of stable. That's kind of stable. Zero. Okay, no, that's that's got to be good enough. What? Are you kidding me? It's really not that bad. It's like, it's very minor. It, eh. Eh. How about we use something other than tungsten? Wow. Thank, thank you, voice that said that. I guess we'll just repair all this broken stuff using tungsten. Um, or using titanium, because everything else is just freaking breaking. This is awful. This is awful. The entire, the, the entire freaking Death Star is just ripping itself apart. What am I going to tell the investors? This is insane. It's okay, though. It's functioning. I'm, I'm just gonna call it a good product, let the project manager figure it out themselves, that it's not. Nobody say anything, they don't need to know. Gonna run a few quick tests. All we have to do is destroy the freaking planet, right? So I, I think, I think that we are capable of doing that in a timely manner, and, and that it'll, it'll meet the benchmarks that have been laid out for it. So let's see. All right. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, no, it melted. It mel- <laughs> It melted. We knew this was gonna happen once we lost the tungsten. We, we, we knew this was going to occur. And now it's all breaking. And, uh, might as well just get rid of all these fans at this point. And just pray. Just- Damn it! I just wanted to destroy the world. That's all I wanted. And, and, and now, now it look, now it's not looking like it's going to happen. What am I going to tell my clients? Huh? Huh? I, I tried so hard to make them happy and this is what I get. I mean, it, it can still kind of destroy the world. Oh, it's shooting tungsten instead of plasma. This, this is just unacceptable. This, <laughs> this is an unacceptable. <laughs> I mean, the idea is good, and it kind of worked for a little bit. Uh, I should probably tr do, do this again, but better. It's a good first rough draft, okay? The Empire did nothing wrong, of course. Uh, thank you for all watching. <laughs> leave, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Plasma Gang. Join Plasma Gang today. You. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching! If you want to support me, 
and my videos. You should join the Patreon. That means you throw money at me for making videos. It's fantastic. For me, for you, for everyone. Yeah, if you want a Death Star, this is where we start. With your money, I can buy a small sheet of titanium to start construction today. Thank you. Nailed it.